God, I've just heard the first sentence written. It's already really bad. Oh, God, why are we doing this? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to whatculture.com. My name is Jules Gill and yes, I am now doing one of these where I'm reacting to my first ever video here on the What Culture Gaming channel. I listened to the first sentence before I started recording and it already set my skin to invert. I'm genuinely like getting flush in the face because I'm embarrassed about this. So to give you a bit of context, um, I've been working for What Culture for four years now, um, and I started as a, just a voiceover a guy. I didn't have any sort of, uh, I had prior experience with voiceover work, but this is the first time I'd ever done anything like serious with YouTube but outside of my own channel. And when I got the uh, opportunity, I got sent over maybe about like 10 scripts, all of which were pretty much Josh Brown's, by the way. Wasn't told that they were his scripts and I adapted them. So that was good for him to probably watch his videos get absolutely butchered by the new guy top 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 stuff there and what happened is is that our boss was just like okay cool right the only things you got to remember are approach it with confidence and uh, don't go too slow I took that last <laughs> that last bit of advice very seriously because this sounds like I was on fucking crack Jesus Christ right let's dive into this just so you know it's uh, the 10 greatest end levels in video game history okay let's just go Right. Deep breath. Nothing to fear, but fear itself. Here we go. Ooh, remember when we had those? Nice little particle graphics there. We used to have a woman that said "what culture." Final Very sexy. Get too much credit. There one he is. Extravagant one-on-one uh, one battle to finish off a game can be incredibly satisfying. It's often a well I try not to swear. That resonates with players more than a single Slow take down, down, mate. After all, it's never about the destination. 2016. The journey, you've got your whole right. life ahead of you. Acting you still had hair when you recorded this. Yeah. The the well, I, I say I had hair. I was trying to grow it out. I look like a sort of testicle that's been dropped on the barber shop floor for a bit. Smorgasbord of experiences. Whether Take it's the a breath. climax of Halo Combat Evolved or the unassuming twist at the end of Red Dead Redemption, who edited this, there are actually. some last levels but, um, that no gamer will ever forget playing through. I feel sorry for them because they had to just do... I didn't even get an image! I didn't even get... Wow, I was that new. They didn't even have the images 10, there. Aircraft carrier. Crisis. Aliens, Hawaiian shirts and explosions. Sign me the... Uh, having a oh, nice 10 time, frames per second on that crisis footage there. That Top job. Seemingly all but alluded up to this point, <sighs> leading to one of the most explosive missions ever featured in Crytek's first-person shooting I just, series. Right, I'm With just, just going to pause from... that there because it's uh, already making me feel very uncomfortable. I feel like I need to apologise to everyone who's watching this video with me. It's just, listen... I was nervous and I wanted to make a good first impression, so I was like, okay, the boss said to go... go quick. I went quick. It's a problem that's compounded me in other areas of my life, I tell you that much. Right, let's carry on. Pulling around you, there's a certain sense of emergency imbued into Crisis's final level. Emergency? Your way through a How did they let that one get through? through? The hole like it was tissue paper, resulting in a disorientating flood hitting you at every single angle. But this is the thing, because I'm going at such cinematic. speed, I can't get over any of the cadence the of like any sort of natural timing for comedy, because it's just like, bam, 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 bam. Like, that works in like films like Airplane, where it's like joke per minute or joke per every ten seconds. Seconds, but here, Absolutely because there's the no line. tonal difference. Number Who the hell's that kid? Just cause. Just cause Was that, is that, is that a photo we can use? Is ridiculous. Embracing the wacky anarchy the I'm just going again and again and again and again. Studios open world sandbox game has you doing I'm basically here telling you I'm a bad voice actor. Playtime. Fantastic. However, nice, sick wheelie. Until you found yourself boarding an atomic God, that's grainy. From launching missiles in the game's final mission. But for those of you unimpressed at the thought of stopping nuclear missiles in a video game, you might want to know that you don't actually prevent the nukes from being launched in Just Cause 2. Instead, you'll have I to chase like after I feel like I just want to sigh the for about the 10 bombs, minutes. Of like -minded enemies who don't Who's that? To defuse the explosives. And these boys are committed oh, he's the main to boss that from... paycheck, I can tell you. So in summary, the like I just feel sorry for the editors who had to put up with this at the beginning bomb. because it's just like the amount of content that I was providing ever will. in under Number 10 eight, minutes. I'll tell you what, 2020 Jules is like sickened by 2016 Jules. It is lack to get this over the 10 minute mark for that sweet YouTube dollary do. What a game though. Does GoldenEye hang up? Hang up? Does GoldenEye hold up in this day and age? Controllers are a bit, uh, controls are a bit. Rubbish now. And everyone will believe you. And you've got to stop him from arming the GoldenEye satellite firing mechanism. 
it's frustrating for sure, and the chase will see you falling off the level more than not. However, it's the ending of this level that gives oh, the a closing line. In classic Bond fashion, once you finally cornered Trevelyan, he cranks up the cliched movie villain mugging to stratospheric <laughs> levels, mocking you with a smug for England, James. Just before you put enough bullets in and descend them flying off the tower, but not before delivering a cool no. For me, revenge has never felt so sweet. I'm English. Why, why can't I do an English accent for England jokes? For England jokes. Jesus Christ, kill me now. And then a picture of the Punisher. What's this got to do with it? Number seven. Revenge, I guess. One card left to play. Max. What Payne a game. Three. The entire point of Max Payne is that the character you're playing isn't the typical action hero, a drunken, out-of-shape mess that makes me look like a bodybuilder by comparison. The That's titular Max stumbles through levels without an ounce of grace, haphazardly shooting everything in sight like an American police officer. Ooh. Oh, that roast. Wish in 2020 that statement didn't hold more relevance than it does humour. It's actually a rather refreshing approach to a third-person shooter. It's the sense of waste Steve of Martin of being Max as in the, sense of the comedian Steve Martin. <laughs> Doubt, I doubt and that he made final level Max Payne 3. perfect playground for Max's newfound love of anarchy, embodying the game's sense of the cinematic perfectly as you chase down the game's antagonist through a series of perfectly paced firefights. As the tension ramps up and the music swells to the beat of your explosive punishment, blowing through hundreds of faceless goons has never like, felt so satisfying. I don't disagree. Number six, Kilner the First Flame. Greatest end levels in video game There's history. Kilner so the First Flame. Would I replace that with the Dark, Dark Souls 3 ending? The Dark Souls 3 DLC ending's good. Because of the open fires with people huddling around. But then again, it's very emotional. No provocation. Do you know what? Actually, side note, it took me. Uh, when did when did Dark Souls come out? It took me two and a half years to complete that game. First time round. In fact, had I even completed it properly when I'd made this video? This is the thing, you can't judge me for this. Remember, I have said that um, I got scripts sent to me and I just adapted them and had to sort of like prove that you can sort of talk about whatever ever subject material you get given. Um, but still, yeah. I think the Dark Souls is probably one of the most emotional video game journeys I've ever been on. Yeah, I might do a video on that, actually, further down the line. Just realised, by the way, this video has 1.5 million views. That's That makes me really embarrassed that this many people have seen probably one of my worst bits of work on the site. It's got 11,000 upvotes. And I've liked it as well. Brilliant. <laughs> I had to get myself over. Hulk Hogan, my way to the middle. Artistry that makes the decaying fortress that you're fighting in such a perfect setting for the final. Oh, go on, camp. smash him! Not only that, but the long slog that you've got to go through to face the final boss feels as punishing and as drawn out What's as you might expect there? from a software game. Although it should be debilitating, he was, making he was the over same a barrel being spanked. Through the same Black Knights over and over again, only to reach the Lord of Cinder and having him annihilate you with a few powerful Now, strikes. to be fair, Dark I feel like a level oh, that frame rate, delicious charm. chef's kiss. Even after I do feel like the one positive that I can give to this. Is the speed that I'm hitting, the speed of that. I should have been a rapper. If I'd gone slightly differently, if I'd been a bit more of a redneck, I could have been a really good middle of the road rapper. What would I have rapped about? Probably video game code. Number five, Citadel, Half Life 2. Half Life? All the way through Half Life 2, you find yourself. Did I get a bit thinking, of Welsh there? Man, this gravity gun is great, but wouldn't it just be perfect if I could actually just like throw dudes around with it? Well, not being one oh, different point You missed an opportunity to say of all time, you idiot. Gave players the ability to go absolutely nuts with this iconic gun. Did I? I didn't have any gimmicks at this point. This was is just me at my purest, my most nervous. That made out of clay. Hilarity ensues. By the time you make it to that last level, you feel like you can take on the world. And with the help of but this, this is the problem because the gun at such speed, I paused it again. Can. Prob the problem is, is that like with the speed that I've been going at, it just is like <sighs> I don't get any of the like the definition in. So I'm like mumbling my words. I'm tri tripping over myself. I do that regularly at normal pace. Number I can't four, imagine Gannon's how long Castle, this must have taken me to record. Ocarina of Time. Ganon's Castle, the final dungeon in the iconic Ocarina of Time, boasts such a wide variety of challenges and secrets that it's a no-brainer why both the location and quest have gone down in Legend of Zelda history as being one of the series' most defining levels. Balancing the need to break each elemental barrier blocking your path while fighting your way through the tower itself, the castle acts like a tour de force in video game level design. Testing every skill that you've learned up to this point, this maze-like tower is both challenging Crystal and maze, classic. Daunting, yet structured in a way that navigating through it never becomes overbearing. Keeping the pace building to fever pitch that culminates in a final two-part of boss battle against Ganondorf. Pausing it again because I've just remembered. I was trying to go back in time and that's why it looked like I lost myself for the last couple of seconds. Um, I uh, was recording this in a uh, house in Bristol at the time. Because, funny story, 
I used to work at a post-production house, got let go because there wasn't enough work going around. And then on the same day I got let go, that's when I got the gig for this. And I remember recording this and maybe like five or six others absolutely knackered my voice. And I did it by pop propping two pillows up underneath the duvet and then had a duvet over the top of my head. And uh, my legs went asleep so much that when I uh, tried to stand back up again, I whacked myself right on the bedside table. I think I did I get myself in the neck or shoulder. I like properly hurt myself. So yeah, suffered for my art. Everything about this dungeon feels epic in both scale Using and art design. very loosely Starting though. Starting out at the tower's doorstep to eventually sealing the dark beast Ganon away from yeah, get good, out of it, Ganon. This challenging tower acts as a perfect build up to a near perfect boss battle. Number three, chapter 15. Welcome. Spec Ops The Line. Bliss. Throughout Spec Love Ops this the game. Line, you're given the sense that you might notice it because of the fact Captain we put it in Walker, every like single list we've ever done. Year, it's slowly giving in to its own animalistic insanity. Through a Don't series even have any tea left to sit. And harsh executions Got a drink to get through this mess. By the player themselves, there's always an unnerving feeling that you're not actually playing as the good guy. Finally storming the fortress an unnerving feeling that you're not playing as a good guy mission, you when you hit the white phosphorus level you idiot great moves. film starship However, troopers wish they'd made a video game of that they probably have i'm sure that somebody's going to correct me on that one in Jaeger development's first person shooter it's not a first person shooter you idiot it's a third person shooter you can literally see it soon take a turn for the now i know what you guys feel in the comments section conrad who then recontextualizes the entire game in a twist revelation that's delivered in a series of nightmarish fall breaking sequences up to this point, you were given the feeling that your character was slowly slipping into insanity, but until this final chapter's embrace of dreamlike gameplay, you just didn't know how far he You definitely did know, because they had all Number of the little two, loading screens Halo. that had things saying that Halo you're a killer. What a game. Halo now, this is the thing. Final level, the third Halo first game. Halo Combat time, Evolved. Love that game. It literally blew my mind. Well, not literally, because I hate it when people use the word literally when it's not. Figuratively blew my mind. Halo 2, I'm probably one of the minority, absolutely hated that game. The multiplayer was probably the best thing about it. Just thought the storyline was absolute tosh. But Halo 3 came back, kicked it right in the tush, kicked it, pulled its socks up, and then kicked it, and then swept out the door for good measure. More than anything else, though, playing through Halo 3. Final mission felt yes. like you were playing a piece of gaming history mm. in the making. The perfect end to a genre defining trilogy. Number one, of suicide course, mission. Mass Effect 2 Suicide Mission the has to be one of the. the actually, you know what? I'm going to do one for the camera. Well Pause it now. Mission. Without a doubt, if I was to go through any of this list again and redo it, I would not change this as being my number one entry because it is, and say it with me, kids, one of the greatest end levels that I have played ever. See how disappointing it is that I didn't do the flipping gimmick. Right, anyway. But yeah, fantastic level. And it's actually worth the 20 Don't butcher it, Jules. Preparation players have had to put into it. 20 in hours? I skipped through quite a lot of content. single suicide mission could have been as disastrous for Bioware as the final sections of Fable 3. Shame. <laughs> Endless shame on that ending. I will not forgive you. But fortunately, oh. Bioware, like me in bed, managed to pull off the impossible. The level works so <laughs> well because it actually lives up to... Like me in bed have pulled off the impossible. What managed to disappoint more, more than one person? Suicide mission in video games before. It's rare that they actually... What is that? Why has the koala got fangs? With the exception of maybe a few red shirts. But with Mass Effect 2, the Look last at it, big boohoo baby, there he is, shoot him right in the eye. By planning tasks around the wrong teammates, not Ooh, pausing again. Who was your team that you took with me? Took with me. Who was the team that you took with you on the suicide mission? Mine was uh, Jax and uh, Garrus. That's good times. The lead up to this battle, or just not making them. Oh, if someone's downloaded the DLC. Every taking the sequel's final mission can get any member of the squad you've been building up and connected with brutally murdered. Yeah, he got his head blown off, didn't he? The pressure. Even if you worse, sucked at the game, that is. Up and even you can be killed permanently. There's no reload or restarting from a checkpoint. Make too many mistakes, not only can you get your entire squad killed, but the series' main protagonist Bye. can end up biting the dust too, resulting in a canonical ending where nobody survives. And that's our list. Got any lead-ups to legendary endings that you'd like to let us know about? Then drop them in the comments section below. And if you want to tell me personally how it's all going to end, then you can do so here and here. If this is before video, we were allowed like, to share, and pimp our own I've been Jules for and I'll see you soon. Twitter stuff. Right, well that... That was a tour de farce, wasn't it? Jesus. So, what wise words of wisdom do I have for you all now that I've watched my own chrysalis period of absolute cack um it definitely proves that with time and patience and effort you can get better at the things that you are passionate about like even if you think that you're at the top of your game right now 
you probably can improve. I feel like if you ever get uh, complacent, if you ever think to yourself that you are the best you're probably ever going to be, then that's a bad thing. It means that there's only a decline from that point on. So you've always got to be looking at new ways to push yourself and expand your horizons and trying new things. So while I personally think that this is a terrible list and I would like it scrubbed from the minds of the 1.574854 people, should have just been 1.5 million. I don't know why I went through the whole thing. Um, uh, I do, I do, I am, I'm glad that it exists because of the, it's like a, a benchmark for me to go. I definitely feel like I've gotten better since that point. Would I want to watch it again? F no, right? As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. Stay tuned for more absolute car crashes like this. I'm doing one over on the main channel which I feel is going to be even worse because it's about brutal torture method methods or something like that. Oh, Christ, there we go. Right, well, until then, you've been awesome. Never forget that. I'll speak to you soon, all right? Peace.